Your mistake is that you don't know. You don't know the Scriptures and you don't know the power of God. You won't know God. You won't understand God. You won't understand the DNA of who Christ is unless you do the Bible. We need to know the Bible. We need to know the Word. We need to know the power of God in the application of the Word because it's this knowledge that sets us free. So what is the revelation you need to know? God has called me. God has invested into me. God empowers me. That's what you need to know. It's God's will that needs to be formed in there. Not my will, His will be done. Welcome to the 3C Live Experience, a dynamic, multiracial, fast-growing church with thousands of believers filled with passion for God and for people. 3C is founded by Pastors Bert and Shawnee Pretorius. Pastor Shawnee also leads the women's ministry through the It's a Girl Thing movement desiring to see all women reach their full potential in Christ. Commanded to love, commissioned to make disciples and challenged to change. Our 3C youth movement, The Vault, mentors and inspires our youth to serve God with an unlimited zeal to become unshakable leaders in their own spheres. The love of our pastors is seen in many social welfare development projects. 3C is feeding thousands of underprivileged children on a daily basis with determined intent of fulfilling the mandate of preaching to the poor through radio, television, and the web. With a vibrant, contagious spirit of worship, let's join 3C in this live experience. For when you need someone to stand with you, we will pray for you. SMS your prayer request to 3347 and we will pray for 30 days, trusting God for a miracle in your life. SMS the word pray followed by your prayer request to 3347 and we will pray for you. daughters. I've got three daughters, and I, but I don't leave Jordan. If she's busy there, it's fine. There you go. There you go. 14 and 12, right? <laughs> 11. <laughs> 11, dad. Okay, and Jordan's 12, right? Okay, Jordan's, I'm just checking, right? All three of them are cell leaders. Okay. So what do we do? We get them to do the Bible. We put more effort into those things. It's not that we don't help them with their school and do the best for their education and as far as their sports. It's not that we, we don't do that, but we seek first. First. Our kids and our grandkids, I leave for church at half past six. I leave the house. I'm at church. We're five minutes from the church. And uh, I'm at church around about 25 to, to 7 for our first service at, at 8 o'clock. By the time I get down to the bottom, all our grandkids and all the kids are ready, waiting for me to go to church. <laughs> Except Caitlin, <laughs> who now, since she's 14, takes a bit longer to get ready, <laughs> hallelujah. Tell them a little bit. I said, not tell them. Okay, we just leave it there, right? It's just between us, right? Okay, we just keep it between us. Now, we're not saying that we're perfect and we got it together as a family and everything. We go through things, we go through stuff. But the thing is, we, we believe the Bible. We do the Bible. You understand? And for me to empower them and empower my wife, I know for them to become and know the the scriptures and know the power of God, they've got to do the Bible. So we empower them from a young age to do the Bible. 
Shanae does devotion with him every single night, every single morning. She sits with him, does the Bible, prays with him every single day, every single weekday. Are you hearing me here? Give them a great hand. You can take a seat. There you go. So raise your kids. Make sure there's discipline within the house. And once again, not this old style discipline where you do what I say because I said so. No. How about just giving some understanding as to why they need to do it? Are you hearing me? Do it. Why? I said so. And yes, there is a time where things need to be done, and I understand that. But always give understanding. Because that's how you empower somebody. It's by giving them understanding why they do what they need to do. And it's not just do it, why they need to do it. And yes, sometimes it is just do it so they can understand. But once again, give as much understanding as you can. And yes, I do know you've got to say something 5,000 times per week. Can I get a big amen there? But we do that. Are you hearing me? So it's having faithful children. Now, some of you maybe failed with your kids. Well, guess what? You've got a, you've got a, you've got a, you've got a, um, you know, it's done. It's dusted. It's on. No, no condemnation. You ask for forgiveness. It's finished. Now you minister to your kids where they're at or whatever. And we pray that they're going to get saved. Hallelujah. Pray that God will deliver them no matter what mess they're in. And then what you do is you've got a second chance with them grandbabies. Can I get a big amen there? You make sure they're with you every weekend. You start raising them. You start touching their lives. Is this helping somebody here? So within the vision, the family plays a huge role. When we talk about the G12 vision, it starts at home. Because being able to teach means you model and you're able to explain, give understanding, and you model the life. It's not just telling people what to do. Being able to teach is I do it, and then I can teach you how to do it. Is this helping you here today? So not having an unruly, disorderly house, but not having strict for the sake of strict. Yes, discipline needs to be there, but there's got to be an understanding. Understand of why you do what you need to do. Amen. And that's enough. That's enough for today. Hallelujah. And I've got a lot more to say. Hallelujah. But we've got a year. Hallelujah. Amen. So we've got a year. We're not going to do everything this conference. And I just wanted to share that today. But we set the standard. When it comes to discipleship, it starts in the home. Let the Lord help us. Let's be blameless in our home. Are we perfect? Do we got it together? No. Do we have issues and take offense and need to work through stuff? Yes. But let's do it. Let's work through it. Let God help us. Let the Lord heal our hearts. Let the Lord heal us from the pain that we've gone through. Let the Lord heal our marriages. Let the Lord heal our families. Why don't you just stay where you are? Just stand to your feet. Thank you, Jesus. Now, there's no condemnation. There's no condemnation. Just there you are. Lift up your hands unto the Lord. Some of us, we failed. Why? We didn't know the Scriptures. Go to church Sunday after Sunday after Sunday, but we don't know the Scriptures. You don't know the power of God. That's your mistake. We in church, we hear the Word, but we don't do the Word, which means you don't know the Word and you don't know the power of God. You cannot know the Scriptures you cannot know the power of God unless you do it and apply it within your life. And out of yourself, you don't have the capacity. None of us have the capacity. I'm not standing here as somebody that's got it together. I'm standing here as somebody that's submitted to pastors that hold me accountable and that have helped me through the power of God, through the power of the Holy Spirit, to be a model. Amen. Just lift up your hands. Just stay where you are. Thank you for your mercy, Lord. Lord, where we have failed, please forgive us. 
We need you, Lord. In our marriages, we need you, Jesus. We look at our families, we look at our neighborhood, we look at our children, our grandchildren, places where we've messed up, Lord. We need you, oh God. It's the mistake we've made, Lord, is that we, we don't know the Bible, we don't have a revelation of the calling on our lives. We don't have a revelation. The fact that you have invested an inheritance in us. The fact that you have given us your power. The fact that you love us so, so very much that every time we fail, we can come to you. Knowing the height, the width, the depth, the length of the love that you have for us, Lord. No matter how we've messed up, that every time we can come to you and we can cry out and say, have mercy on me, O oh God. According to your unfailing love, according to the multitude of your tender mercies, Lord, blot out my transgressions. Failed as a husband, failed as a wife, failed as a parent. We need you, Jesus. We need you in our lives. Lord, I pray that you help us give a, a revelation. <laughs> give us a revelation of what you want to do within our marriage. How our marriage will become a tool to the salvation of the family in this nation and the nations of this continent. Lord, how our raising up of our children and the, 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 the breakthrough of our grandchildren, Lord, will be a, a, a weapon, a force to be content with in our nation. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Lord, wash me. Just there we are, say, Lord, wash me. Cleanse me from my sin. Thank you, Lord. The blood of Jesus cleanses me. You forgive me. You redeem me. Thank you, Lord. I am justified. I am sanctified. Set apart for purpose. A priestly family, Lord. A priestly family, a priestly family. Thank you, Lord, that you're in control. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 I take authority over every power of attack on every family right now. In the name of Jesus, I put my faith with your faith. And I declare the works of the devil void in your marriage, your children, your grandchildren in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, that you are in control. We come against every attack of the evil one. You have got no right. Every spirit of addiction, every lie, Thank you, Lord, that you set our children, our grandchildren, you set them free, you set their walls free from the hold the devil has over them. We bind you in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. We bind you. You've got no right. We declare your works void through the blood of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for breakthrough within their lives in Jesus' name. You open the eyes of their understanding, Lord, that they might see the truth, that they might see how much you love them, Lord, that they will run to you, that they will turn to you, Lord, and they will be saved. We declare it in the name of Jesus. Our parents, our grandparents, our children, our grandchildren. Thank you, Lord, that you save our families. And Lord, that we won't just be saved, but you have called us, Lord, to be leaders in this nation and in the world. Say with me, thank you, Lord. My family belongs to you. I declare it and I prophesy it. I prophesy it. You will serve God. You will preach the gospel. You will be a disciple maker. Everyone in my family, I declare it over you right now. Come on, speak it over them. Come on, you speak it over them in the name of Jesus. You will be a disciple maker. You will be a leader. You will be a leader. You will be a world changer. Oh, hallelujah. Speak it over them right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord.
We declare it over their lives. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I pray that you help us to raise our children according to your word. Help us, Lord. Give us the wisdom. Give us the understanding. Is my prayer in Jesus' name. And everybody shouted, Amen. 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 Come and give the Lord a hand of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are good and your mercy. Sing it to the Lord. Your family will be saved because He is good. stand with you. We will pray for you. SMS your prayer request to triple three four seven, and we will pray for 30 days, trusting God for a miracle in your life. SMS the word pray followed by your prayer request to triple three four seven. We will pray for you. know God. You won't understand God. You won't understand the DNA of who Christ is unless you do the Bible. You are anointed, but you can only be appointed once your rejection has been healed. He heals the brokenhearted and He binds up their wounds, healing to your heart so that you can respond in a righteous way. When we stand in the presence of the Lord, El Señor no nos va a decir, the Lord is not going to say, ¿Cómo te fue en tu empleo? How did you do in your job? ¿Cómo te fue en tu estudio? How did you do in school? ¿Cómo te fue con tu familia? He's not going to say, How did you do in your family? El Señor va a decir, the Lord is going to say, ¿Qué fruto tienes? Where is your fruit? God has chosen Bienaventurada. you. What does the Bible say? It says that you are blessed. El que tú blessed is the person that Los que you en esta reunión, every todos one of us that are here, every one of us, we have para been chosen to preach con the gospel with y signs, wonders, and miracles. Without the anointing, we are limited in all things. Our resources are limited. Our energy is limited. Our knowledge is limited. Our wisdom is limited. Our talent is limited. But God is not limited by anything. You lack wisdom? 
the Holy Spirit will give you wisdom. There is no sphere of the world where we are not supposed to shine. We are supposed to shine in every sphere, in every place, in every arena, in every dimension of the world. You cannot have fire unless you have oil. You cannot be the light of the world unless you have something inside. The oil. You need an extra oil, not just for today, but consistently anointed. You never run out of oil. The Bible says you are the light, but you are also on the hill. In other words, you are at an advantage. And your purpose is to brighten the corner where you are. There is no time to waste. Begin to bring that light right now. Life is full of great starters. We are desperately short of great finishers. But I'm here to tell you, you're anointed to not only start, you're anointed to finish what he started on the inside of you. Baby Shine. No matter the age, no matter the background, no matter the journey, ladies, this is for you. To the mother, the daughter, and the sister, this is for you. We invite you to join us for an encouraging, jam packed program with Posse Shane Pretorius every Thursday at 11 a.m. For every girl, for the girls. Join us for our annual It's a Girl Thing conference on the 8th to the 9th of September, 2023. Hosted by Pastor Shanae Pretorius at the Moraleta Church in Swane. With guest speakers, Pastor Geraldine Bellano, Pastor Johanna Cassianos, Pastor John Jenkins, First Lady Trina Jenkins, and joining us live, Grammy Award-winning artist, Cece Wynant. Visit www.my3c.tv and get registered today. Join the Vault Youth Conference on the 16th to the 17th of June, 2023 at the Moraleta Church in Tswane. Register today on my3c.tv.
3C Live experience was brought to you by the 3C Media Production. For more information, call us on 86 112345 or log on to my3c.tv. Or you could write to us at PO Box 10508 Centurion 0046 or email us at tv at my3c.tv. If you need prayer, SMS the word PRAY followed by your prayer request to 33347 and our team of prayer warriors will pray for you for 30 days. If you would like to become a partner with the ministry, SMS the word PARTNER to 33347 and one of our team members will get back to you within the next few days. You can follow Pastors Bert and Shane Pretorius on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram to be inspired daily by morning devotions, ministry updates and much, much more. Log on to my3c.tv for more information.